Welcome, my name is Mrs. Gamble and today we're going to be doing a lesson on using a KWL chart to solve a word problem. Most people know a KWL chart when they are in reading class. It's what you know about what you're getting ready to read, what you want to know, that's when you ask questions, and then what you learn. We're going to apply that same principle when we do a word problem in math. For instance, Jacqueline has $94 and Cynthia has $69.97. How much money do they have together? Well, I need to think to myself, what do I know in this problem? I know Jacqueline has $94. I know that Cynthia has $69.97. What is, do I want to know? What is the question asking me to do? How much money do they have together? How much together? When I think of how much do they have together, I know the question is asking me to add my sums. So for learning, this is where I fill in and do my work. 94 decimal zero zero six nine, making sure that I line up my decimals. 97, adding my dollar signs and my plus sign and my equal sign. 0 plus 7 is 7. 0 plus 9 is 9. 4 plus 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Put down my 3, carry my 1. 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 plus 6 is 16. Jacqueline and Cynthia have $163, don't forget your decimal, and 97 cents. That is how you use a KWL chart to solve a word problem. Thank you.